Hi all, this video is all about any recordings you might make in the virtual classroom. A future recording will show you how to turn on the recording while in the virtual classroom, but this is assuming you already have done that. So all you do is go to virtual classroom and wait for the page to load. And then to get to the recording area, you're gonna click the three horizontal lines in your top left to open up our menu. And within there, there's a recordings area. Click that, and it should list any recordings you've made. They should automatically process and appear here. You shouldn't really have to do anything. Now, one thing that does tend to throw some people off is that they say a recording of theirs has disappeared. Well, by default, it only shows the recent recordings, which are the recordings for the last 30 days. So if any recordings seem to have disappeared, just change this. Instead of filter by recent, you're gonna go and choose a range. And you can choose whatever range you want. You can go back a few months, and then all of your recordings from that time should be there. So that is something that does throw some people off. If you or a student wanted to watch the recording, you could simply click it and then watch now. There's a few other options. When I click the three dots within a circle to the right of a recording name, what I can do is choose various things like watch now. As an instructor, I always have the option to download. If you want students to download, you'd have to turn that on in the settings, which you will see in a future video. In recording settings, there's a few things you can do. I can rename it or rename the part after the slash at least, so I could name it after whatever topic I'm talking about. And I get to choose who has access. Do I only want people within the course site? So they have to come to this area of the site and click it to watch it, or I can make it public. If I do that, I'll be able to share a link with people who are not even associated with my site. If I did have captions, a VTT or SRT file, I could upload them. Unfortunately, it does not automatically caption, so I'd have to be getting these captions from some other source. If I was happy, I'd save those settings. And now what I could do is, again, go to those three dots within a circle, and there's that link. Now, because it's public, I'd be able to share this link. Anybody I give this link to could watch it. They could share it with others to watch as well. Finally, the only other thing I could do is delete it. But be very, very careful. If you delete this, it's gonna be gone. If you contact us within 30 days, we might be able to get Blackboard to get it back, but be very careful. After that, it's definitely gone, and you're, again, make sure not to delete recordings unless you're sure. And see you in a future video.